Hey everyone, um, so today, hi, 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 I missed you guys, like, I haven't did a video in a while because my hair hasn't been done, as it's not done today. It was straightened because I went to New York for about four or five days, but then I washed it because it smelled so burnt. I, um, today I just wanted to review a couple of products that I had bought, and products that I was, like, I have been using, I wanted to review them to tell you guys how they're working out for me. So basically it's going to be like skin care and hair care products that I'm reviewing, so stick around if you want to hear about them. So before I even start my video, I'm going to tell you guys that I am transitioning from relaxed to natural. I had had relaxed hair since I was, I think, 11 years old, and, um, um, I really wanted to relax my hair. I always had really, like, I can't even, like, I remember my mom always telling me that my hair was really soft. I remember it was really soft. I hated combing my hair, but it was always really soft because my mom always put, like, um, different creams and stuff in my hair to make my hair grow, and my hair ended up being really soft all the time. Like, it would be flat without an, it even being flat ironed, but I still felt, my sister had her hair relaxed, so I always felt like I needed to relax my hair because I felt like my hair wasn't good enough. So... For the first couple of months when I was transitioning, I think it's been like five months. It's been more than five months. It's been since September of 2010. My hair hasn't hadn't grown that much, and I was wondering why I wasn't growing. And that's because I was using products that weren't specifically for people who were transitioning. I was using all kinds of products with alcohol in them, with sulfates, with parabens, and it wasn't working. And so around... January, I started using products that were specifically, not even January, like this, like February. I started using products that were like specifically for people who were transitioning and I have seen a lot of hair growth. Like this much of my hair, like in the front, I'm having a lot of growth and in the middle, like it's so curly. I don't even remember having curly hair like this before I got transitioned, but it's so soft and so curly. It's not really nappy, it's just really curly. Um, so even when it dries, it's like still very, very curly. Um, I do love it. Like, I play with it all the time. I'm always, like, picking at the curls like this, especially when I'm in class. I, it's just, I feel so proud of myself because at first, when it first started growing, I wasn't seeing that much growth. I saw, like, this much, and I was kind of, and so I cut off some of my hair. Like, it was, like, right here, and I cut it off to, like, right here. And so now it's, it's grown about this much. It had grown about this much. And so, um, my hair was, like, around right here, but I had cut it to, like, right here, and so, right now, it's, like, right here, so now it grew about this much. Um, I didn't see a lot of growth, but then I kept, like, wa I wash my hair once a week, I condition it, I think, three times a week most of the time, and I, wa like, I put water in it every day, because every day I use, um, I can't really find any styles to do my hair, so I use gel mostly. So, yeah, um, I don't really want to run into this. I'll do another video talking about it, but if you guys want to see another video talking about it, then I will, but you can just, yeah. So, the first product I want to review, I'm going to start with, um, skincare, because I know that's what most of you guys want to hear about. Um, and then I'll, and then if you want to stick around at the end to hear about hair care, you can hear about that too. So the first product that I'm reviewing is Clean and Clear 3-in-1 Foaming Acne Wash, and I've only used this much as you can see. Um, it's really, I like it. I saw the reviews online, and I, it got like a 2.5 out of 5 and things like that, but I don't think it deserves that. You know, people say that it dries out your skin and it like makes your skin really tight. I don't know if my skin is that oily, but it does not do that to my skin like it like cleanses my skin. I can feel my skin being cleansed, or is that even a word? I don't think that's a word. But I don't think so. Um, I can feel my skin being cleaned. I think that's a word. Um, it says that it like cleanses skin, treats pimples, and helps future breakouts, and that's exactly what it does. Like I, um, I've had this breakout like right here, and I've had one right here, and I've also had one right here, and it's really helped this one. Um, in this one, but this one is like fighting, it does not want to go away, and I'm going to trust this one to fight it back, so that's one cleanser, and I think I got this for, um, five dollars and something cents, I think like five dollars and like twenty cents at Walmart, and then also, I've been using the Morning Birds Detoxifying Facial Scrub, um, so all the, both of these are oil free because I do have oily skin. It's combination because on my cheeks they're normal, on my around my mouth is dry, and then my T zone is oily all on my forehead. But my cheeks are just normal. Um, I always 
use the orange morning burst, but I finally wanted to try the blue one because I felt like it said that it, um, it gently exfoliates for visibly healthier skin. Even the wash said that you can see how healthy your skin is after you wash with it, and it's true. My skin, after I wash with this, is two shades lighter than it actually is. And I think that's because I haven't been using, I've just like been laxed on my skin. That's why it breaks out sometimes. Because like, it clears up, but then right when I go back to school, if I have like a vacation, it breaks out again. So I just go lax on my skin. But I'm not laxing on it anymore. Um, so, this is, I really like it. It like clears all the oil. It makes your skin its true complexion. Like my skin, my facial skin actually matches my body skin because it makes it the right complexion because it cleans off all the oil. So I use this every morning. I don't use it at night. So I use this at night and this in the morning. And then I got this Persa Gel 10. I love Persa Gel 10. I've, ha I've gone through like six bottles of these things. And so I got the Walgreens brand, the CVS brand, but I usually stick with the Clean and Clear brand. It came in a two-pack for $9. Usually one is about $6. So a two-pack for $9, it's like buy one, get one half off, and I really like it. You just rub this on top of your pimples, and the next morning they're going down. Also, I've been using Ambifade Cream. Um... I've been using this on and off. That's why the results aren't that fast. I have seen, like, big results of this, but I, sometimes I won't use it for, like, a week or two. You know what I mean? And that's not good. So I feel like every time I don't use it for a week or two, I have to restart the whole process. And sometimes I only use it in the morning. Sometimes I only use it at night. Like, I'm not really good with keeping up a schedule with things. So... On this, on the whole, I really, 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 really love this. It, like, cleans my skin off, and I really love it. This, it doesn't dry my skin out like everybody said. I think it works. Like, I'm going to keep using it. I've only used a little bit, and people say that it, like, dries out your skin. It, like, cracks your skin to make you break out more. None of that is true for me. I am in love with this product. I will keep buying it over and over and over again. I'm in love with it. And this, I guess I'll keep using it. It comes with a lot, so by the time, if you like, if this doesn't work the first time, don't buy another one. Because this will last you like a good four months, so yeah. So now, um, I'm going to go to hair care, and I'm going to go really quick, so, because I don't really want to make a really long video to bore you guys. So, the first thing that I've been using, my cousin bought me this from Target for $10. I've only used this much, because I only wash with shampoo for, like, twice a month or maybe once a month most of the time. This is called Shea Moisture Organic Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. This is from Target for $10, but I think now they sell it at Walgreens. I also saw the Yucca one, the growing milk, and I want to buy that. It's Yucca and Aloe from the same brand. I think I'm going to buy it. I saw that at Walgreens. So this has sea kelp, argan oil, and shea butter. It has no paraben, full sage, paraffin, gluten, propylene, glycol, mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, animal testing, PABA, synthetic color, DEA, animal ingredients, and no sulfate. And I also, she also bought me the moisturizer. This is a leave-in conditioner or a washout conditioner, and I am like in love with this thing like you don't understand she got this from I think in February or March I've been telling you guys I started using things for my hair and like using natural things for my ha hair since I'm transitioning to like February I can't remember if it's February or March I know it definitely was in April but I'm already like this is just because I shook it while I was talking I only have about this much left and I instead of you know like when you really love a product and you try to save it I do not try to save it I know that it's not that expensive for this big old bottle and by like the second week I finished by the second week I was using this this whole top part was gone so like some that some days I don't moisturize my hair but I told you guys I wet my hair every morning and every night because I have to wash the gel out of it and my gel doesn't have any um alcohol in it it's olive oil gel that's probably still not that healthy, but I really don't know any other styles to do my hair with, with that doesn't involve gel. So I don't, I don't um, wash my hair in the morning, but I definitely do um, rinse it out in the morning. And then at night I have to rinse out the gel, but I don't wash it or I don't condition it. Sometimes I do. And after I'm done washing it, I just moisturize my hair with this. And then I'm good to go. I'm good to go to sleep. It doesn't make my hair frizzy. It makes my hair really... I love it. When I do condition my hair, I use this organic tea treatment shampoo. This cost me six dollars and forty nine cents. It gives you one hundred percent more free. Um, I've heard about organic. I tried their coconut milk splint and mender, and I hated it. But this, it smells like so good. Like it smells like mint and like it smells like 
mint chocolate chip ice cream. It has no sulfates or parabens, and it's organic Australian tea tree oil. And then it has a mint in it. And it just basically, I just basically moisturize. I use a lot of it, because there's a lot in this bottle, but I like to drench my hair in this conditioner. So I put it in for like five minutes while I'm soaping my body or scrubbing my face off. Or scrubbing my face, not scrubbing my face off. And then I rinse it out. My hair is the softest thing ever. I can run my fingers through it. And now when I comb out my hair, no hair comes out. Like, I'm getting minimal breath. Um, I straightened my hair a lot for a while, like I was straightening it like once or twice a month because I was getting invited to so many events and I hated doing that, like I hated it so much. But in, um, I'm going to be straightening it probably in June again, so I'm going to keep washing my hair. And then Biotin. I suggest that you guys buy this. I got it from Walmart for $7. This is how the capsules look. I don't know why I took out so much, but... One looks like this. You swallow it. You can open it and swallow the powder, but it's probably gross. And I take about four of these a day. That's about 20,000. Sometimes I take three. Sometimes I take two. It all depends. And I've been taking this for about a week. Um, I like it. It hasn't made my skin break out or anything else people say. My nails are not really growing yet because I think it takes like three months for it to see. But I feel like I have seen some change in my hair. Though many people say that you, it takes three months to see. And if you say, oh, I've seen a change in my hair after a week, it's probably not true. I swear like, I have. Like, it's made my skin so much softer. I feel like my skin's been softer. And I don't know. I like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. I'm just making up for the product so that it doesn't seem like I it's not working. But I think it's working. Also, my friend gave me a sample size of... Cleaning Clears Wild Berry and Guava, um, what is it called? Body Wash? And it smells like Trix Yogurt, kind of. Yeah, um, I don't really like it. I think I might give it away to one of my friends. I only used it one time. The smell is okay. It, it's not like it really does anything to your skin. It has like a bunch of acids in it. It only has blueberry fruit extract and like ginseng root extract. And you don't know how much extract they actually put in there. But I really don't like it that much. Like, it's okay, but it's not like anything to rant and rave about. I wouldn't buy it. And then one more thing for my skin, I've been using um, cocoa butter from Queen Helene, and this is the best thing ever, like it makes my skin so soft and it smells like, it smells like cocoa, it smells like chocolate, like it, it really does smell like chocolate, and I love it so much, like I just slather on some, and then I'm good to go, like for the rest of the day, it does, it says that it does protect your skin from like, um, wind and sun, but it doesn't have any SPF in it, so I don't use that for wind and sun protection. I actually use Equate Baby Lotion with SPF 50 in it, so yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to review today, guys, so comment and subscribe and rate this, and tell me if you guys like it, and also I'll make a hair video all about my hair and stuff like that, so keep you guys updated.